his machine. My hat it was foul weather on Chester Cup day this year, but of course a real racing fan refuses to be deterred by a drop of rain. There was a field of 15 for the big event, with Heron Bridge, number one, the top weight, as favourite. Certainly some of the others weren't so keen on the course being soaked with rain as he was. From the start of the race of just over two miles, two furlongs, Apple Honey, the grey, came across to set the pace. Settling down ahead of Cecil's Choice, Rose Lace, Royal Pack, Father Thames, Port Rear and John Moore, Apple Honey continued to show the way round the first circuit. Honey, in fact, held on to the lead for most of the race, while somewhere behind him came the favourite, carrying nine stone seven. No horse for a hundred years had won the Chester Cup with such a burden, but Heron Bridge apparently made light of it. Cleverly ridden by Tommy Burns, he began to show up in the straight. Yes, by this time, Apple Honey had had it. Heron Bridge now shot ahead of him and the Father Thames, who finished second, and ran home to win in really gallant style. A great and historic victory by Heron Bridge and Tommy Burns, in spite of the mud pack.